I mean like way Let's go ahead and just dive in for the products that I have been enjoying so much for the month of August. And I have been going through a kind of like a journey with my skin. I don't know why. Well, maybe, you know, the move from Florida to California, but it happened a couple months. But then the kids went back to school and it's in person. So I don't know what's going on. You know, also I'm on my fourth floor, so... I, I think there's some changes going on that I start to break out and I usually do not break out. Now, I don't get like big pimples or anything like that, but mostly it's redness and dry skin and bumpiness around. So anyhow, friends, I want to talk about a skincare product that I have been enjoying so much. It's my Shantekai and this is the Bio Lifting Cream. So now this is from the Bio Lifting line. So it plumps your skin, you just, you know, just, I don't want to say like it reduces kind of the fine lines because of the plumping effect about it, but what I like the most of it is how moisturizing it is. And when I say how moisturizing it is, I'm not talking about thickness or if it's like too creamy. It's not like that at all and whatsoever. It's very hydrating. It has, you know, like it feels you can really feel like you're drinking water and by the way Shantekai on their products look at that look at that oh so soft so i was saying the Shantekai they don't use just water as their main like component they use rose water but also this has matrixol 3000 is full of peptides which is really good for the skin. And I have noticed that with this moisturizing cream, my skin feels more soothed. It feels like more like, oh, I feel more calm, a lot better. I'm like, it feels just so good. So I have been enjoying so much my bio lifting cream. So big shout out right here. I have been enjoying it so much. And the base that I'm using today, my foundation is that ultra lit hand by Chanel. And I have done a full day wear test because this is and yet again, another reformulation. So I did a full on review, including the corrector and the concealer, but I wanna talk specifically about this foundation. So I have used it in the past, and because I do have dry, sensitive skin, more mature skin now, it was a foundation that I'm like, okay, maybe for a night out, you know, because it's, you know, very nice and long wearing and it's very perfecting, but yet it's on the matte side. But with the reformulation, they have added a few moisturizing ingredients that doesn't make it dewy, doesn't make it radiant, it's still matte, but it's, I will say, more of like a soft matte. It, it, it's just very close to natural skin. And the way that I have been using this foundation is in fact mixing it in with my rose face oil from Shantekai or my Olivia Palermo Prime Time. This one is more of like a luminous finish and also Oh, it's very right here. I don't want to even touch it because things are going to fall. My Shantekai Elixir 2, which has a little bit more radiance. And I just mix a couple, you know, like little drops in it with this foundation. And it gives me the perfect soft matte with a little bit of radiance because I'm adding those primers. One of the other, not all three, just, just one. But I love how... It's not full coverage, it's more of like a medium coverage foundation, but how long wearing it is, and how perfecting it is, and how lightweight it looks, I and mean, it feels lightweight, and how it doesn't look cakey. And that is something that I'm just like so for it. I do have a ton of freckles, and you can still see my freckles, but it works so, so beautifully throughout the day that it's just impressive. And honestly, I use half a pump for my entire face. I'm just so in love, more than anything, how Chanel was able to keep the finish of the foundation so that way if you are an old time, like this is your holy grail, you're not gonna feel like, oh, they changed it too much for me, yet they have added skincare ingredients that makes it more comfortable for those of us that we have drier skin, but we have been wanting to use something like this too. So, so good. This will be perfect if you're planning to have a photo shoot now that the holidays are coming and you know the family portraits and all of that this is a really nice foundation 
Moving on right here to eyeshadow palettes, and the eyeshadow palette that I'm using today is by Pat McGrath, is her Utopian Dream Palette, and what a dream of a palette it is. Very controversial because um, we see a lot of like um, same kind of thing with the pink tones, but I think this is a gorgeous palette. I and mean, like if we just take aside, you know, the Divine Rose 1, Divine Rose 2, and in fact, if you watch my reviews, I did a full-on review, I did two looks, you will see that I did also comparisons, and although there's certain similarities in certain palettes, it's not that this is a repeat on palette, with the exception of this shade right here that looks so much like Sextraterrestrial from the Divine Rose 2 palette. I think it's a little bit redundant to have it right there, but I love the performance of this palette. And you know, guys, I'm a person that I love purple, lilac -y tones, and yeah. <laughs> This has my shades in it. And I try to make excuses just to use it because how beautiful it is. I mean, the performance is stunning. I have to tell you though, with these two shades right here, you're gonna find fallout no matter what, unless you use a glitter glue. I use my NYX one. I also end up receiving this one right here, Intensifies Artistry One. I will have to say, you have to click it from the back. Don't click it too much because it's not retractable. And it's, it's a base, but it's not a sticky base. It's not a glue, it feels more kind of like a silicone Vaseline type of base that it helps for um, the shimmers and glitters to adhere to the eyelids, but it's not as bulletproof as say a glitter glue. So this one, I mean, it does the trick, it's really nice, it's really good. I'm enjoying it. I actually used it today and I think it did a fine job right there. But if you already have a glitter glue, that's fine with it. I just wanna give you an update on that. And a palette that I have been using pretty much every single day because right now, well, at least Monday through Friday because I'm going, you know, like to take my kids to school, to pick them up. I mean, I, I have to do this stuff. So my go-to palette has been my Hindash Butopsy palette. <laughs> it's even dirty right here, which I feel so bad to have it like that. I mean, like I try to take good care of it, but I think, I don't know, something went on it and I'm just afraid to scratch it. I really need to clean it nicely. But yeah, I have been using it so much and I know that right now it's back in stock because it sold out and it finally came back in stock. I love to use this shade right here from feel plus real and then my tan lines I love it and then I like to mix in a little bit of my tan lines with the wet paint on kind of like the yellow side and put it right here on my mobile lid it looks stunning this for blush every day and then this shade right here kind of right in the middle intra fatun I use it for a very quick eyeliner top lashes bottom lashes so easy and I'm still so, so impressed on how it's not messy. <laughs> I mean, like, how is this possible? I mean, the formulation is just like silk. So easy. I mean, like, I have been using and abusing of this palette, and it, there's no mighty mess in it. Not at all. I mean, like, I know. <laughs> I know that Hindash is coming with a kind of like more shimmer, shouldn't say glitter, but kind of like shimmery type of formulation that I'm just dying for it. And I know there's another product that I have seen all the swatches. And it, I mean, if you know me, it's one of my favorite products. If not my favorite products, you know guys what I die for. And it's coming. It's coming and I cannot <laughs> wait for it. Anyhow, friends. So that's my everyday palette. And then I have a couple other palettes right here. I'm just so floored, like, boom, about this Vanity Makeup, the signature palette. I mean, like, these deserve an ovation right here for how good is this palette. I know a lot of people were like, $95, what? This formulation is exquisite. Like, if you like the Patrick Ta formula, you will love this palette. That the shades right here is not your typical neutral palette, your nudie palette, you know, that you just have like it's always 
everything brown in different you know shades of brown <laughs> no this is not this gives you cool tone neutral tones warmer tones you can mix and here a lot of people they don't like to see black on their palettes but black is really good to deepen out any of the shades you don't need to need to straight use the black or doing a smoky eye look but even for eyeliner i mean it serves so much having a lighter shade right here it does the same thing if you want to you know lighten up this shade right here or this shade right here this palette is truly exquisite that <laughs> these shades right here they are just to die for. They glide like a dream. Now this palette is made in Italy and I'm not saying that everything that is made in Italy it's you know like amazing and whatnot. Most of the time it is. <laughs> what I'm saying is like this palette is worth the $95. The packaging is gorgeous. It looks like if Gucci have done it with you know like um, Pat McGrath and I don't think by any means this is a copy on Pat McGrath or anything like that. I think this is a genuine creation and Annie who is the owner of Vanity Makeup she did an outstanding job. I'm mean, like she is a very well-known makeup artist that I when I reviewed this palette I mentioned it. I didn't have an idea of who she was and then I saw her artistry. She's more like a full beat glam kind of girl, but she knows what she's doing. And the formulation right here is just incredible. These, I mean, like if you want a neutral palette that gives you variety and a staple palette and you're all into, okay, I want to feel high end luxury as well. Or even like if you're thinking a present for, I don't know, Christmas, a birthday or an anniversary whatever it is this this is that palette this is that palette going into my fourth palette right here that I have been enjoying and finding again kind of like a Pat McGrath and excuse to use it but I am usually used it for more smoky eye looks is this baby right here this is from YSL it's called the tuxedo palette hopefully it has come out I think it has come out available right now in US. I will be leaving all the details of the products that I'm talking to in the description box below as per usual. But this palette, the performance is incredible. The shades are so creamy and smooth and there's no fallouts. There's no like glitter chunks, nothing like that. Let me show it to you right here. Look at that. Ah, look at that blue shade. No way. No way, this is incredible. I'm super excited for YSL's holiday palette because it's more of like, you know, neutral palette. It give me a little bit of Charlotte Tilbury, Pillow Talk, the 12 fan palette vibes, but the formulation from YSL, I think it's been a little bit overlooked. It's a really good formula. Every time that they had come out with the palette, it seems like they're improving it, improving it, improving it, and you get right here so much eyeshadow. But then again, what I have been loving about this palette is the cool tones. I'm a girl with cool tones. This topi shade right here is stunning. And then the blue one right there, chef kiss, so, so good. And I like, I have more <laughs> eyeshadows right here, but I will talk briefly about this right here because I think you can still get them as Selfridges. Once again, I will be leaving all the links on the description box. Most of my links are affiliates. So if you want to help this channel and you want to support me, it doesn't cost you absolutely anything. You can shop through my links. But if you don't want to do it, you don't have to feel obligated. There's no problem. You can check the link and then Google yourself, whatever you want to do. Okay. Going back right here to my other eyeshadows are from Dior. Yes, and this is from the Fall 2021 collection. And this right here is in Early Bird. I think a lot of people, they are not really paying attention to this baby right here because everybody is like, I want that nightmare. Because, I mean, these greens are obviously stunning. We have a multi-chrome right here that what Dior with the multi-chrome it has some purple it has some green a teal I mean it's so amazing but please do not overlook this other one right here if you are not too adventurous or if you don't want to use too much greens or you know you, you just whatever right <laughs> then you go with this one but this formulation is stunning I think 
I mean, I know it may be too soon to say and by the end of the year, I'm sure I will be doing my best of the year, but I think perhaps, at least from Dior, this may be the best, <laughs> the best release so far in 2021. Not sure, I'm like, the, the, I mean, to announce it so wildly and big, but I mean, it, it, it's because it's just so good. I'm like, what can I tell you? What can I tell you? I mean, you will not go wrong. I mean, like, it's just so pretty, so, so stunning. I mean, like, ah, <laughs> ah, they are to die for. So good. Okay, friends. And now moving on right here, should we do blushes? Perhaps let's do blushes. This month I tried Valentino Beauty and I think the standout, so good of a product is this blush. I dislike the packaging because it doesn't speak up about Valentino. It's like, Valentino, come on. It's, uh, yeah, but leaving that aside, this blush right here, the tone is stunning. It's a beautiful coral shade that is not too pinky, not too peachy. I mean, it's, it's a perfect coral, I should say. But I love the formulation. It feels kind of like a cream. When you touch it, you're like, wait a second, this is creamy. But then it goes on your cheeks more like velvet. Truly beautiful. And in fact, if you have tried, this was a limited edition blush that came out at the beginning of the year by Estelle Lauder. It's called Rebellious Rose. If you have touched this, it's very like, perhaps this one right here is a little bit more creamy but the Valentino one, it's a little bit, this is more pinky too, but they have kind of the same finish and kind of that same feeling of like creaminess, like, oh, I'm touching a cream, oh no, it's velvet. And then it just makes your cheek very like doll-like. I mean, like very, very beautiful. Out of everything that I tried from Valentino, I will have to say the blushes, the blushes, the blushes. Continuing with blushes, let's talk about Dior. Also from the Fall Collection. Oh my goodness. <laughs> yeah, these blushes don't ah uh, don't mean something. This hits me, you know, in my heart because you know my friends, I love corals, but don't let it pass this baby right here. Don't let it pass at all and whatsoever. This is an everyday, absolutely everyday blush. It will go with every single look that you do and it does have a little specks of what it looks shimmer but it's not super like there's no glitter in it you know what I mean like when you buff it and when you apply it really well on your cheeks you will see like how beautiful it looks it gives up subtle radiance well this one is more like a soft matte you know very beautiful and again I think that Dior they just did an outstanding job honestly outstanding job i don't want to sound like a broken record right here but your they got me this year but with this full collection woo, amazing 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 more blushes right here i have to talk about the armani neo nude blushes this baby right here i have been doing instead of um full-on reviews or dedicated reviews kind of like try on hauls because that also has helped me with my schedule because right now, you know, the kids obviously always take priority no matter what, but it's school, homework, and other things to do in real life. Um, so anyhow, I have been doing try on hauls. I did try on hauls where I use each of these individually. Love them both. This is the shade 45, which is more like a beautiful burnt terracotta. If you like the sunset hour type of look, this is the one that you want to go with but the one that i'm using today if you like more pinky but also a little bit not super cool tone but more like neutral tone to go with you know like more either smoky eye looks or cool tone looks you're gonna love this shade number 50. it looks so scary right right here but it's the one that i'm using and i feel like it just looks so lovely and the way that i like to apply this type of shades is more like draping it from here to here, I'm like, you know guys, you, if you have been following me for a long time, you know that I don't take my blush right here, but rather go this way. I mean, I have done it for years. And then I just apply, instead of going across, I apply it like this way. 
when he's this kind of cool tone right here and I think it's just wonderful I love also the formula again it feels creamy velvety not as creamy as say the one from Estee Lauder but very very soft very soft and they last throughout the day and this is the thing about these blushes that I'm talking right here too they are not the ones that hi I'm here right now and then an hour later it's like so where are you <laughs> no super good formulation and they come in so many different shades this right here but I mean I'm happy with these two shades right here I would love to see a vibrant pink shade from you know Armani I don't think they have one they are more like terracotta peachy nudes neutrals you know but wonderful formulation and very forgiving for the fine lines, for the large pores, very, very forgiving. Going into bronzers right here by Anastasia Beverly Hills. I have it right here, her cream bronzer in the shade Golden Tan. Now, a lot of people have compared it with the Chanel cream bronzer. I think it differs a little, but yes, it's on that matte, soft matte kind of finish. It's not, uh, it doesn't set as, uh, say, I don't want to say that the Chanel is powdery, but Chanel sets a little bit different than this one. Now, this one is very velvety and beautiful and it blends super easy. And in fact, talking about blending, the way that I love to blend this bronzer right here is with my Sonia G from the Lotus set. This is her base brush. You can use it for foundation, but I love the shape for, you know, like applying bronzer, sculpting, and, you know, perfect application. And these brushes right here have been a favorite for the month. I mean, like, since the moment that I tried them so good, Sonia G brushes are top on my list. Like, when I say top, because the designs, the different shapes, the different type of hair that is used. I mean, absolutely everything is so well thought out. Out of the Lotus collection, I know you cannot buy individuals from the Lotus collection because it's a limited edition collection, but the soft definer, this is like, I love my mini booster from Sonia G, but I think I like this a little bit better. I have, you know, false on my eyelids, hooded eyelids. So to me, precision, precision, precision is the best. And yes, the base brush for everything. Also, if I don't know if this set is sold out, but another one that I have been enjoying a lot is the jumbo base. So soft, gray brushes from Sonia G. Amazing. Complete favorites. I mean, Sonia G had it. <laughs> Since we were talking about bronzers, let's talk about the Nude Gossam Face Palette by Charlotte Tilbury. This palette right here, performance, it's stunning. I love the Bake Chalet formula. And this is a little bit, I would say, superior to the previous palettes from Light Gossam and Love Gossam. I feel like they blend a little bit easier. They are easier to pick up. Now, this palette right here, you can, the suggestion of Charlotte Tilbury, being herself a makeup artist, is that you can mix in these shades to, you know, adjust the tones because there's no different shades of this same palette. I still think that she could have done more palettes, at least two more. The reason being is, yes, I do have a light to medium skin tone, but for someone that has medium, yeah, medium or medium tan, this right here will not show and this right here will be the only one left and then they will have a product that they will not be able to use so to me this palette is more for those who we have light to medium skin tone unfortunately because i can I, I really feel that she could have done more but if you have any trick about this palette if you have my skin tone a little bit lighter even a little bit deeper, not too deep, but you know, a little bit deeper, just light to medium, close to medium, you will like this palette right here. You will get good use out of it. Love, love, love the blush right here. It's not as shiny, you know, as intense as the Love Gasm and Light Gasm, which I love, but for placement, you know, you have to be very strategic for those. With this one, is 
okay th this is super wearable it, you, you don't have to really worry about it and then the highlighter right here is stunning these two sculpting shades are gorgeous these to me can work like kind of like a bronzer i wish that she could have done a true contour and a true bronzer that would have been more complete and again you know two more other palettes at least but this one works for me so so well so i have a full review of this palette i show you how i use it and whatnot you see like it's not super shiny they are not like full of you know like shimmer glitters and then this right here you see it creates shade you know, it does create a beautiful shade, so it works for my skin tone. And this one right here has more like a little bit of a reddish undertone, but it's still being neutral. And if you're curious, I'm using the deeper shade right here over top this cream bronzer right here. And this is what it gave me. You see, it has just a little bit of a redness in there. So it works for my skin tone really well. Again, performance, the beautiful formulation. I think she did a great great job right here she just needed to add more of these palettes for sure let me give you a quick update on this laura mercier translucent loose setting powder light catcher so i bought another shade i bought the medium shade and i ended up buying also the celestial light afterwards and i'm using it today as a highlighter here's a note right here to me it's not a fail because I really enjoy it, kind of like a loose highlighter or as a finishing powder for the highest point of my face, but it's a total fail that they decided to name it as a translucent loose setting powder. No, this is not. To me, this is definitely more of a loose, I mean, a subtle loose highlighter slash finishing powder but it needs more instructions because if you get this and you are like I have I, I, I want to look more radiant and then you go and you set your face under eyes and large pores you're gonna be like no I look like a teen man so giving you an update right here if you like to bath your face and use a finishing powder I have shown it many many times i usually bath my face with my la mer da powder you can definitely use this baby right here but i will say only on the perimeters of your face and like even this much is way too much way way too much like that you see like it's barely coated in there barely barely there and then you go to the highest points of your face and that's it don't bring it here on the large pores, don't bring it wherever you feel like, okay, I don't want to emphasize anything. And you see, it gives you the most beautiful, yes, it's a light catcher, it's a beautiful, very soft, like highlighter, buffing powder, finishing powder, but yeah, don't use it as a setting powder. You will be so disappointed about it. Now, moving on to a true highlighter and something that I have been enjoying so much for the last couple months are my Dior Forever highlighters. Beautiful. I ended up picking up two more. This is in Golden Glow. This is stunning. Look at that kind of like tangerine undertone. Isn't it? It's just so gorgeous. Absolutely love it. And then I have been loving a lot Nude Glow too. And this is to me at the beginning, I was like, uh, you know, looking for the promo pictures also from images from Instagram. I'm like, no, that's going to be way too cool tone. It's going to, you know, create a shadow on my skin. No, 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 no. This is an excellent, excellent tone. And in fact, I only have the light catcher from Laura Mercier. I'm going to go ahead and put a little bit of this highlighter on. Not that I need more. Oh, bing. <laughs> right there. So pretty. Dior gets me all the time. <gasps> you know what? I was forgetting to mention, I always forget to mention this, so I have to mention it right now, is my Victoria Beckham Beauty Eyeliner Kajal Satin in Coco. Please, 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 if you're looking for a perfect brown that you can use it on the waterline or you can smudge it on your lashes line, this is it. What a beautiful formulation. I always forget to give it some love 
do yourself a favor, get one of these. They are amazing. The Kajals from Victoria Beckham Beauty. And since we're talking about the eye area, let's talk about brows. So I finished, I actually have to do an empties video because I finished my Charlotte Tilbury, the brow sheet eye pencil, and I have been interchanging and using these two brow products, really good ones. One of them is by Gucci. Gucci came out first last year with a powder pencil, which I love, but this year they came out with a waterproof, you know, kind of like a regular eye pencil that it does have more of like a triangular shape. Really good. Absolutely love it. I love that it doesn't tack a pool. And then I did a sponsored video. This video, by the way, is not a sponsored with Look Fantastic. And they sent me the Kevin O'Qua, the Precision Brow Pencil. Oh my gosh, this is so good. And this is not new. This has been in the market for a long time. And this is how, this is the one that I'm using today on my brows. It gave me so much precision. I was able to, you know, draw the hair like a strokes so well. Oh my gosh, I'm so impressed. So impressed with this brow pencil by Kevin O'Qua and loving the one from Gucci. So I'm kind of like going back and forth, just interchanging them because like I said, I finished already. The one from Charlotte. Okay, friends, now going into lipsticks. Starting with Suku. So Suku has come out with their sheer matte lipsticks and they sent me two of them. These are stunning. These are stunning. And you know what? They are not super matte, but they are not satin. They have this, I don't want to say not even a velvet finish, but a beautiful soft matte finish. They look just so pretty. They are super thin. Thing. you can build on the pigmentation they are when they say sheer they, it's not really sheer sheer let me just show it to you right here and these are not limited edition these came out with their fall collection which is stunning and this is in the shade 102 which is more kind of like a terracotta shade and then this one right here is a shade 101 this is a gorgeous beige shade right here nudie beige stunning shades right here so love these and again they are not limited edition which i'm happy about because these i'm looking forward to get a mauvey tone a pinky tone maybe like a red tone too oh i'm super excited about them and then let's go back to dior sorry i just split it right here i should have talked about them all together but <sighs> the fall collection from dior have been loving these two lipsticks so much. This is something that I tried for the first time. It's the Rouge Graphics. It's a lipstick in a pencil form, but I love this shade. It's a coral shade. Looks, look at that. It's so vibrant. It's not neon -y, but it looks just, just stunning. And I love how creamy it is. It's not drying. And same thing with this formula. This is the Rouge Dior Ultra Care Liquid. Again, ultra care, ultra plush, ultra thin, long wearing, just stunning. And this shade right here is 483. If you're looking for that perfect cool tone, pinky nude that goes well with every cool tone eye look, this is it. You're gonna love it. And again, it's not drying. It doesn't, you know, flake. Just a stunning shade. And then let's go here for Charlotte Tilbury, our darling. She came out with more lipsticks from her Super Nudes collection. And the ones that I had been loving so much is the combination of Supermodel, which is a repromo because she came out with Supermodel last year and I never picked it up or perhaps I did. I have it. I don't know. I just have too many lipsticks. But anyhow, I had been loving the combination of Supermodel and the shade Cut Walking. This is a beautiful nude shade not too like one that it will like wipe out your lips you know but a beautiful very easy to use shade so i use supermodel like on the outer portions and then in the middle cut walking mm, stunning combination and then the one that i'm wearing right now is runway loyalty and this one is the only one in the collection on the kissing formulation which in a way i wish that she has done all in the kissing formula i love the kissing formula is out of the two, the matte and the, I mean, both of them are good, but the kissing is my favorite, but it's a beautiful cool tone. It's the one that I'm using right now, stunning shade, a beautiful, beautiful cool tone. I mean, like, 
all of this collection speaks really well to that 90s vibe and I actually line it up with my Scott Barnes Karen lip pencil not too many people give too much love to Scott Barnes lip pencils but he has a really 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 nice formula for his lip pencils this is more like a nudie pink with a cool tone it goes perfect perfect this combo right here is perfection and then i have three more lipsticks right here that i want to talk about Givenchy Le Rouge Sheer Velvet Lipsticks this right here is in the shade Nude Boise number 16 these are the formula is just so impressive it is in the sheer side but it leaves this beautiful texture to your lips that doesn't look creamy they look in the matte side but it, it feels like velvety plushy like so like like this like this like the velvet that is outside i'm like so perfect and i love this shade right here it's more of like um pinky nude shade and then chanel just added six more shades to their rouge allure lux and i picked up one in beige confidential that doesn't have anything about beige so if you watch or if you're going to watch my review on the new reformulated chanel foundation you're going to see that i'm you know giving you also an eight hour word test about these lux i have done another review of all these lux they are so long wearing they are non-drying they they are beautiful they leave such a beautiful stain on the lips they have the full pigmentation it's like a mix between a lip gloss and a liquid lipstick but non-drying but this shade is gorgeous it's again called beige confidential it doesn't have anything beige it's not ultra orange it's more of like a nudie orange with a pinch of terracotta in it but it makes your lips look so so pretty i think it's the perfect shade to transition between summer and fall so you can use it right now and then you know progress through the fall with it because it's just that that good and then the other lipstick that i cannot wait i'm like yes i can wait for the holidays but you know wearing a red lipstick you're like ah this looks so good is this one right here by Sokja Luton I actually showcased it on my playful lips bold brows video you want to go and check it out right there because they show you two different looks like you call it day and night look but you know it's just to be playful anyhow this red right here butter red I have been making an excuse to wear this red lipstick a couple times this past month of august because it's just so stunning it's matte prepare very well your lips because i don't feel like it's too drying perhaps because i'm used to really prepping my lips all the time but make sure you prepare and exfoliate your lips but it's just mm, such a beautiful parisian type of red stunning Oh, and you know guys, you know that I paint my nails at home and although I'm not wearing this specific nail polish right now, you have seen me with this nail polish pretty much the entire month of August and it's by Christian Louboutin. It is the nail polish in Tutu. You know, <laughs> this nail polish uh, packaging is really so extra, so like wow. But the shade is gorgeous. If I find a little clip, I will make sure to insert it right here. The beautiful thing about this nail polish is that, guys, I wash dishes. I have a kit. I clean my house. Yeah, I do many, many things. Unbox the stuff. I mean, I'm continuously using my hands. And this nail polish does last. And the shade is just so beautiful. I love my pinky shades. I changed today for more of like a peachy yet lighter shade because I want to still you know be in that summer mode but yes this shade right here is all year round love love the tone of it it's a beautiful neutral with pink I mean yes it's so beautiful and one of you my subscribers gave me the idea to use this portion right here to put my rings and I'm like what a great idea because sometimes I'm like what I do with this big old thing right here so big but anyhow been loving loving this nail polish and guys have you seen I posted it on my Instagram please follow me there if you don't follow me there I don't know what you're doing but 
Hermes is coming with nail polishes and they're gonna be 24 shades. Ah, wait and see. No, I'm not buying the 24 shades, but because I paint my nails at home, I will definitely will be buying some. And then for my favorite fragrances, I have a ton, I rotate a ton, but I have to give love to a couple right here. One of them is by Chanel and is Paris Biarritz. This one right here, this is a repurchase for me, is my perfect beach walk fragrance. Like when you like start your day and you go just for a beach walk, you know, or like sometimes I just don't have time to do that a beach walk, you know, but I try to do my meditation really early in the morning and I just spritz a little bit of this and give me that. It just centers me. It centers me so much. It brings me back to nature and it has that beautiful bergamot in it that it just, I don't know, this one, I know it's Paris, but it reminds me more than anything like being on a walk in Italy by Capri or Polignano Mare, like that. It's just that breeze of fresh air. I I just love, love it so much. This is kind of like my awakening, you know, like here is the sunrise coming for you. That is for me what is Chanel Biarritz. And then Whispers of Enchantment by House of Siage. This is the third on the line. The first two that I have, both of them are more like very potent, very out there. This one right here, out of the three, is my favorite one. This has a little bit of, and I have, don't have any fragrance right now, so good timing for this. Oh, this is a beautiful combination between a little bit of geranium, and it does have patchouli in it. It says it has leather, but you know what? It, it I don't. I feel how sensual it is because of that. Again, patchouli leather, a little bit of musky in it, but yet it remains between the floral fruity. So it's very sensual and sensual in a very candid way, in a very feminine way. Not in that seduction of like, wow, here I am. You know, I'm a lioness, you know, coming for you. No, this is more, I shouldn't say discreet, but it's just a scent that it has that freshness of the mandarin and the geranium. I don't know if you have walked through a, ger you know, a, a bush of geranium and it's just that wave of, it's a floral that is not too floral. You know what I mean? It's not like, wow, here is a, I don't know. It, it's just very, Again, sensual, and out of three, this is my favorite one. Whispers of Enchantment, plus, isn't it green, dark color? <laughs> that color right now, I mean, like we say green from Dior, I mean, like green everything, but yeah, it's a stunning. I love, love, love it. And yes, my friend, wow, it was a really, really good month with different, I mean, like, yeah, such a great month. And wait and see, because we have all the holiday releases coming next. I'm waiting for my Givenchy holiday collection. I purchased the whole thing, it's coming, so I, I know it's gonna be here in a blink of an eye. So stay tuned for that. But yeah, holiday, holiday collections are coming. Anyhow, my friends, I hope that you enjoyed this video. I would love to hear from you. What are those products that you have been enjoying so much during the month of August? They don't have to be beauty, makeup. It can be whatever you want, whatever you wish. Also share with me which of these products you're adding on your wish list, things that you are you know, considering on getting. Let's continue the conversation on the comment section down below and while you're at it. And if you haven't done so yet, I hope that you can give me that opportunity and subscribe to my channel. Make sure you ring that post notification bell so you don't miss any of my uploads and come and follow me on my Instagram if you like this video. But do not forget to give it a thumbs up. Also, share with family and friends. And until the next time, I hope you have a beautiful, wonderful day. Bye-bye.